it's Big J. McLovin and I are down here today checking out the big rally protest that's happening behind us here. Justice for Therese and also uh, trying to get Judge Baugh to resign from office over the comments and the short sentence that was given to Stacey Rambled in the case that is now making nationwide news. So enjoy our video here if you didn't get a chance to make it down to the protest. And uh, unfortunately it's on sad terms that we're gathered here today. But as usual, the community of Billings comes out when something like this happens locally. So here's the video. I'm Sheena Rice. I am one of the protest organizers for the Stand with the Victim Justice for Sharice rally that's happening in about half an hour here in Billings, Montana at the courthouse. Um, I started this by creating a Facebook event um, on Tuesday, uh, thinking that it would maybe draw about 50 people and we'd, we chose some support, maybe get some local media. Turns out this actually did strike a nerve with a lot of people. We now have over 600 people on the Facebook invite and we have 30,000 and counting online petitions so far. Right now the media that I know is CNN, Fox News, Good Morning America, and the AP. Um, we also have um, all the local media is covering. 1019 is here. Um, we also, I just did an online phone interview with uh, Arise TV, which is a news channel out of New York City. Our really goal of this is to really call attention to victim blaming language and the danger of victim blaming language, especially with rape cases and that it's really not okay and that Billings is gonna take a stand and actually support victims of rape and not, and not allow judges, elected officials, and people within the justice system to use um, victim blaming language. I'm here because I woke up and read an article and I got really mad. Um, like a lot of people in Billings, I was, I, was very, I, I was very unhappy about the comments that I read and about the sentence. And so Sheena and I got in touch with each other and we said, why don't we do something about this? Um, and luckily for us, there are about 30,000 people who, who agree with us and wanted to see something done as well. Today we're trying to raise awareness about the negative effects of victim shaming, about the negative effects that can occur when a community fails to stand up for victims of sexual abuse. And of course, we're also looking for, for change. You know, that change is going to come in the form of, of members of our community understanding better the issues that we're talking about and it's probably going to come in Judge Bao's life in a couple of ways. Um, if he refuses to resign then we are going to insist that some form of education happens where he sits down with victims and he begins to understand uh, much better than he evidently does right now the effect of abuse in a child's life um, and the effect, the, the role that he plays in either helping that abuse victim or seriously hurting him. Thanks everybody for coming. The outcome of support is fabulous. I'm very humbled by it, but you know, maybe it'll change something for a second. Thank you all for coming.